Also de developing tonight, a federal judge has some very strong words for the Obama administration. This is the second warning for the White House this week, and it involves two different judges. The first judge was a GWB, George W. Bush appointee. The second one is a Bill Clinton appointee. So the president's now taking some incoming from both sides of the aisle on the bench. On Monday, we told you about this federal judge warning that the NSA's domestic spying program will most likely be ruled unconstitutional. And then today, another federal judge smacked down an administration effort to keep secrets about some international development efforts. But here's the interesting thing. Okay, so the district judge here is named Judge Ellen Siegel uh, Huvel. And she went after this administration, again, a Bill Clinton appointee, saying, and I quote, the government appears to adopt the cavalier attitude that the president should be permitted to convey orders throughout the executive branch without public oversight, to engage in what is, in effect, governance by secret law. And she had had enough. Joining me now to put this in perspective, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. She, she seemed ticked off to me when I read this. Well, you know, uh, I've been watching and you've been watching Freedom of Information Act requests for years. The, the presumption in the government is that we can see everything the government does. Right. And if they work some, for us. Correct. We don't work for them. If there's some legitimate military or national security secret that displaying to the public would harm everybody, the government has to prove why it's a secret. Here, the President of the United States of America signed a document that had to do with international trade, distributed the document to employees of the State Department, and after it was out there, decided it should be made classified. Too late. After, the cat's out late. of the bag. Exactly. It's either it's classified or it's not classified. And his lawyers argued to this judge he can classify whatever he wants. That was the first time any administration had made such a broad claim, the judge said. And it like, is this the, is unprecedented. And it is the first time in the modern era that a federal judge has directly slapped down the president of the United States saying you can't do this. The quote that you just read is devastating to him. She accused him. Now, she's a judge, but she was appointed by Bill Clinton and was an active Democrat right. before she was on the bench. Right. She accuses a Democratic president of government by secrecy. That's a devastating blow to him. I don't think they're even going to appeal it. I think they're going to, like a dog with its tail between his legs, they better. admit that they were wrong. She's saying you are not, you, you are trying to avoid public oversight to engage in governance by secret law. That's what she's accusing them of, which would be, I mean, that's pretty strong language. This, this is the first time a federal judge has reversed an order of the president himself when it comes to sealing a document. Correct. Uh, and the first time, and a, 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 a a president had tried to claim executive privilege on such a broad basis. She called this almost Orwellian, uh, or at least the, the earlier judge called this an almost Orwellian move by the administration. What are these judges trying to tell this administration? What do these rulings tell us about what they think? Out of control. That the administration is accumulating power in the executive branch, in the executive branch, not sanctioned by federal law and not permitted by the Constitution. From two different sides of the judicial aisle, from a conservative Republican and a liberal Democrat as judges now. Yeah, right. Theoretically, they've shed their politics as judges, but they're human beings and they had a life before they were on the bench. Yeah. I'm talking about their prior lives. Right. Both saying to the White House, out of control. Dial it back. Yeah. Both in the same in the same week. They have to appeal the NSA ruling because that will gut ninety percent of this massive spine. But this but one, I don't think so they, the, It's not so much this document. It's the it's the way they handled it the and the what they tried to get away Concept and the belief that he can do whatever he wants, which is consistent with his presidency. But it's about time he got smacked down. Well, the courts are taking a different look. Judge, good to see you. Pleasure, Megan. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, my dear.